Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, a General Hospital fan podcast. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the General Hospital recap for episodes from November 9th through 13th. And for some reason, I was going to say, I thought I drew a 7. No. I'm like, no, (laughs) it is not July. It was Friday the 13th. Again. Yeah. Second time this year. Right, and the whole world did not go back to normal. It didn't. Thank you for saying that. I was at a friend's house last night, and I said something like that. I was like, well, isn't it supposed to undo everything that happened in March? And they were just like, what? I was like, have you not been listening to this? That, right. You know, they're like, whatever magical portal was open in March. Is that March, broom can thing? You- Everyone should have done the broom yesterday. Oh, or Friday. Yeah, that's right. That was what was going on around that time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, darn. There's when we messed up. Yeah. <laughs> So, where are you starting? I'm starting with calling you out on something. <gasps> what I do? Okay, you complain all the time about Joss and her journal, and yet you were so in love with Robin's diary, and she did it for almost two years, and you didn't complain. You've been you've been dying to do that book. <laughs> it didn't occur to me until Joss got her birthday gift, and I was like, oh gosh, I'm like Amanda's gonna be mad. Her her journaling's coming back, and then I'm like, wait, we just did a whole four one one episode. About Robin's diary. Okay. That Amanda loves. So in Just my in my world, in my <laughs> head, Robin went home every night and recaptured her day, or not even every night, because all of those passages were not in order. Right, right. I there mean, was, they were in there order, was actually like was, a couple months in between some of them. Yeah. Yes. So she wrote down the important stuff, which is what I personally did back then, so that makes it okay. Joss carried hers around everywhere. All the time. It was her best friend. She wasn't living life. She wasn't recapturing her day in her journal at the end of it. She was constantly just dwelling on everything and putting it in her journal. See, but I've done that. Well, and when you're going... You, but you did it wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is no wrong way to journal. <laughs> you asked me to justify it. There's my justification. Robin and I were right, and you and Joss no. were wrong. It was much better for me to have something to be able to write my thoughts than to spontaneously combust. It got it out in a healthy way that kept me... Maybe I just write too much because I don't feel like that would work. I would have literally been mm. in a corner all day, every day. Yeah. Okay. Well, if that worked for you and Jaws, good job. But no, Robin and I did it right. Okay. No, you didn't. Because <laughs> there is no wrong or right way to journal. But so it was still Joss's birthday a week later. Uh Uh-huh. I liked the journal that he gave her, though. But why are they turning him into such a jerk? I don't know. So you watched before I watched, and you started messaging me about stuff without giving anything away about drugs. And I thought that that's what it was going to be, that it was dead on drugs. So when I saw him act like a jerk like that, I thought, oh, on Friday's episode, he's going to open his book bag and drugs are going to fall out or something. Oh, okay. And then it didn't make that connection. And I was like, oh, so he was just a jerk. Yeah, he was just being... I love that they both called him out on it. Mm -hmm. Trina and Joss called him out on, why are you saying these things? Why are you doing this? You know, it's... And it was just so out of the blue. It's not like they had been flirty and cute and she had been leading him on for the past two months and then he went to kiss her and she was like oh no get away from me right it was a year nothing had happened right Right. he even said you don't see me even though you see me okay then why would you think she wants to kiss you right no and with the what changed did you ever and she's like yeah i did but that was a year ago right and not for nothing he blew her off then so Mm -hmm. guess what she had to move on figure that out exactly yeah, and it wasn't fair for him to use the stuff that Cameron said in confidence against them and make it sound like Cam's a jerk. He's going to lose all of his friends. Yep. Which is not cool. I don't know. Totally thought it was going to be drug-related. So, you led me down the wrong path there. I did not do anything <laughs> other than make a suggestion. <laughs> do we just want to stick with the drugs right now? Sure. Okay, so what Amanda is referencing is that I text her and said, what do you think about doing the story about Karen's drug addiction? her pill addiction for this week's 411. So this Thursday, we're going to be talking about Karen Wexler and her drug. Because of course I said yes, because I love Karen. I know. We had something else planned, but you know, as it happens, 
storyline dictates sometimes what we change the 411 to. Right. And I think it's really important, though, that we do it because Sonny was talking about... Yes. And he, like, got into some deep detail there. He of did. Admitting that he has daughters, and if someone did that to them, he would kill them. Yep. Yeah. But that just also goes to show how much differently you do grow up and think from the time that you're 20 to the time that you're in your 50s right now that wow that was really not a good thing to be doing back then yeah and he didn't do it with the intention of getting her high or anything like right right it wasn't to we'll take talk about advantage. it Thursday yeah but it wasn't to take advantage but the way that he withheld from talking to Carly about Sasha mm-hmm and he was like, I can't say anything. Mm, you kind of can because it really is a different thing. Exactly. And you learned your lesson. If you if your right. views were the exact same as they were 25 years ago, then okay. Right. Maybe you don't want to say that to your wife because she might go off on you. But you have learned, so let's use that experience. I was not happy with Jason's response, though, either. I mm-hmm. feel like he's like, Sasha made that choice. Yes, she did. However, exactly everything Carly said. She's hurting. She's handling it badly. She doesn't feel like she has a support system. Like, right. She needs saved. You know, the same way I like how when her solution was, you know, like how you kidnapped Christina. Can you go kidnap Sasha? Yes. I feel like, I think Carly's going to wind up. That scares me though, because then she's going to be in the middle of all the Renault stuff and that's going to go down bad. Oh yeah. But she's Carly. So yeah. it's, I mean, you knew it was coming, but. Mm-hmm. At least it makes sense the way it's going to happen. They didn't just randomly throw her into the middle of it. Yeah. This is going to actually make sense of why she should get involved. Yes. Where do you think they're going to take Sasha for help? I don't know. Because they can't call the ambulance to that address. He even said, no, not here, to her. Like, right. Like she had control over her reaction right. and where it happened. Well, I think that, I think that that was possibly the intended outcome. But I think, I don't think it had anything to do with the address. I think it was more of she was just supposed to go home and have it happen. Right. He didn't and want not, anyone called there. That's what I right. mean. Yeah. But I don't think that, I, I don't know. I don't know either. I thought he was going to end up hooking up with her. So I was surprised when she was starting to take it there and he stopped her and said, are you punishing yourself or someone else? Mm-hmm. I, just I actually really that. liked that. I liked that too, but I didn't know, I didn't know what his point of it was. I thought... You know, obviously she's a very attractive young girl. Sure, he wants to hook up with her. And then if it happens to hurt the Corinthos family, that's just a side perk of it. But he didn't. He stopped her. So on Thursday's episode, though, when they were having dinner in the Metro Court, Mm -hmm. for a second, I was like, ooh, could he be her dad? Oh. And then he gave her the drugs and was all happy about it. And so I was like, okay, maybe not. (laughs) No. But. Yeah. That's kind of where... I went, because we don't know anything about her Mm-mm, family, no. right? Cause right, she was just picked up and dropped into it. And her, she had a close relationship with her mom, but I don't know that she's ever talked about I thought about it was her dad. grandmother that she was helping. I thought that the money that she... We'll have to go back and revisit Sasha's origin, because I actually forget. Right. I thought her mom had died, and then she was helping the grandma. Yeah, but I think she that's had, why... Because like, she could get... That's why she was good for it, because she didn't have any... Right. Traceable history. Kind of like how, what's her name? Brando's mom. She was good too because she didn't really have any connections because. Right. Dolores. Dolores? Yeah. I'd say that hesitantly. Yeah, I think so. That's the name I can hear Carly yelling. So I think so. Okay. Yeah, it sounds okay. If it's not, eh, okay. Right. But. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with her. I don't don't know know what the whole point. I mean, I'm glad she stuck around because we needed to see how the. Michael's storyline was going to go with her, but I don't see her established anywhere else. Like, okay, she's the model for deception, but Mm -hmm. that's it. So I don't want her to leave because I think she's amazing and she's been killing it with this storyline. And I think it's going to undo the Michael and Willow thing because Jason's not going to let Michael not know that... No. Jason's going to tell Michael that they didn't Mm -mm. cheat. And Brooklyn is sure as heck going to tell Michael... And then I feel bad because now Michael and Willow are going to have to feel guilty. But every single thing that Brooklyn said to Chase is every single thing that I said. He made that decision for her without her having all the information. I 100% agree. But I think that Michael and Willow made the decision to be together, letting all of that go. Even though they didn't know that was all part of it. They sat there and said... But that's a huge... 
It is, they, but it's been months now. That doesn't matter. Nell's gone. She can still be Wiley's. You saw how she was with Chase when they were in the hospital. See, Thank Cookie you. agrees no, with me. No, no. Cookie agrees with me. Cookie jumped on my side of the couch. But I Therefore, said something and then she She meowed. agrees with me. She's like, I'm going to come over here and help you defend this because Shannon's nope. wrong. I'm not Thank wrong. Thank you, Cookie. I appreciate your Opinions support. Opinions are not wrong. Unless Cookie tells you that you're wrong. Mm-mm. She's the deciding factor. She's more on my side than yours. She's not. See? Now she's over here. I think Shannon has treats in her pocket or something. I don't. <laughs> You just know that Chase and Willow belong together, huh? No, because Willow was happy with Michael. She was happy with Chase, too. She was very impressed with him this week. So she needs to stay there. And that gives Wiley the perfect little family. You can have a perfect little family that has Chase involved, too. No, because I don't think that Sasha would be a good stepmom. Not right now. Not at all. I don't think she's at that point to be a mom yet. Even if Michael and Sasha don't get back together, I think that Willow and Chase are. I think that Michael's going to feel guilty. Okay, seriously, we cannot kill Sasha if for any other reason then Michael has to have someone that he has slept with live. I agree with that. I'm not <laughs> like, saying that we kill can, her Can off. we just save Willow yeah. for this one? I mean, seriously, if we kill Sasha, we have to break up Michael and Willow before Willow dies. <laughs> They cannot keep killing all Poor of Michael. His. I don't think I ever like sat there and realized hooking Every up with Michael is a death single, sentence. The only other one is Star, but I mean, she right. had to leave. Yeah, but yeah, okay, okay. I hadn't gone there. I'm not saying I want Sasha to die, no matter what, though. I just don't want them back together. I just want Willow and Chase back together. No, because Brooklyn can hook up with Chase now. No, because I really don't think that she will, knowing that. He is still so in love with Willow. I'm not saying it has to happen tomorrow. I'm saying feelings change. Just like Willow and Michael's have. I don't think that Willow's feelings for Chase have changed. I think she has established new feelings for Michael too. But I don't think that her feelings for Chase have changed. And when she finds out that all of it was a lie, she's going to be mad as anything. Yeah, she's going to be mad because they manipulated well, her. Well, maybe she'll even get together was... with Brando then. She'll just say, to heck with both of you, hi, Brando. No. Uh, it's it the only other guy I could think of that's... No. I still want Brando and Molly to get together, for real. Because TJ and her bore me. Yeah. I think that Finn is going to tell Chase he... Ha- well, okay, so on Tuesday I wrote, Finn is going to tell Chase he has to come clean with Willow. And then I said, yay, she showed up. But if Finn tells him he has to come clean with Willow, isn't that going to make Finn think that he has to come clean with Chase about hooking up with his mom? I think all of that is going to come out. No, I don't want that all to come out. But I think it is. Not even just because I don't want him to be Chase's dad, but at this point, that's water under the bridge. She moved on and married his dad. He's marrying Anna. It doesn't matter what they had or didn't have in the past. Right. It's been... 20 some years. I did love that though when they're like we want to get married as soon as possible but then she brought up a good point but Violet thinks that weddings are big and fancy you mm-hmm. know like and she's so excited to be the flower girl and everything so I get it you can't really do that to your daughter stepdaughter you know it's but you could have a smaller wedding and still have oh, her totally be. yeah I mean I know people that got married at the courthouse and they still got all dressed up and had yeah their kids get dressed up so yeah. go ahead but what they've been prepping her for right is, is a big wedding yeah yeah I liked that Anna said but of course we'll still cake well yeah you have to yeah have cake at a wedding see That's they the were cute part. this week they were cute they were back to their how they started in the beginning sometimes it takes a bullet that has to be the name of that's like a legit <laughs> shotgun wedding almost there you except go. for a different meaning <laughs> And it wasn't a shotgun. It was a handgun. Yes. Okay. But Robert asking, was it Robert or Valentine saying, but did Alex confirm she's Peter's mom? Robert. Who else could it be now? Right. Are we implying that now neither Anna or Alex? No. And there's some third mystery woman who is now? No, because the way that Alex talked about it, it was definitely. That conversation they had last week at Charlie's, Mm-hmm. She's his mom. She was going to cry. Like, she was... Yeah. She was bonded. Yeah. You know? Exactly. I agree. But she's obviously not dead. 
Oh, yeah, no body, no. Obviously not dead. Well, I like the way that Anna did come back and just be like, she's dead now. No, she's not. Right. She fell into the water. You're really not that stupid. Yeah. I wanted Sam to step in and be like, just because you fall into the harbor <laughs> doesn't mean that you're dead. After being shot. Like, <laughs> Jason could have. Exactly. Could have been like, um, actually. <laughs> Sometimes that's not true. Sometimes people get you out of there <laughs> and hold you hostage for a little while and do things. Peter, you want to interject on this? That would have been a good conversation. <laughs> and all the appropriate people would have been there. <laughs> right. Ooh. Maybe it will happen. Maybe. I don't think so. But it would have been funny if he would have called him out on it. That would have been. That would have been great. I liked the scene with um, Lulu and Maxie because that was a total friend yes. scene. Yes. And that Lulu was eating all the chips and Maxie was like, okay, can you give this to me? I want my chips. Yep. Super cute. Yes. I wanted Lulu to admit everything with about Dante, though. She was still kind of trying to pretend like, no, too much has changed. It hasn't. No, it hasn't. They belong at together. All. They do. They really do. But her mom's back. Yeah. Laura is back. Yes. From her trip. So I, wherever she went. I hope that we find out where she was. I don't know. I thought they were going to give more information. Whenever Jordan handed her the phone and said, do you know anything about uh-huh. this murder? You could tell she obviously did. I thought you were going to need to hear a little bit more about... Or see a flashback? Yeah. That would have been good. That would have been great. Yes. So I, I hope that that's coming this week, because that was disappointing. They just kind of let it go with who was Laura talking to when she says... Right. We've been caught or we're in trouble or whatever she said. I like that she said she hasn't fired Jordan yet. Yes. And she called her out on some of the... I'm tired of them using that same darn house for every spooky, <laughs> abandoned everything, though. If they can change the quarter main mansion door, like, can they please flip Thank that you. thing around? And at one point, the door to the basement was closed, and later on, the door to the basement was open. But nobody had moved, like, they went downstairs and left in the basement. So. Good catch. Yeah. Keep it all the same. But you're just Continuity. using the old Elizabeth house over and over and over again, and it annoys me. Didn't even change, like, the front porch. Come on. At least paint it a different color. Right. Hmm. Anything. I don't know. But I was annoyed. Speaking of Liz. Yeah. I felt bad for her. That was hard. That was hard. I'm glad he finally told her, though. Yes. Because I really didn't think he was going to, especially when he started talking to his dad. I was like, is this a whole conversation that you're really going to leave Elizabeth out of? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. He was so honest about the real thing that he's scared of. He's like, I'm not scared of dying. Right. Like, he's scared of going back to being who he was. Right. So. Yeah, because he's been such a good influence on her boys. Not obviously we don't want him going around killing people no matter what, but he's been such a good you know, influence. After tumor life has been pretty good for him. Yes. So we want to leave them with that. Or what did she say? Like, are you just going to tell me you're getting commissioned and have surgery instead? Like, I wouldn't notice? Yeah. yeah. So. But then that was sad because he was like, no, there's no surgery. It's yeah. just here forever. At least he didn't say that he asked Jason to kill him. Yeah. Because she would have gone off on Jason and him. Jason didn't necessarily say that he would do it. No, he didn't. He said he would protect Liz and the kids. Exactly. You know if Franco starts acting like he used to, then Jason's going to. But I don't know if he'll actually kill him or just, like, send him away or something. Yeah. I don't know. He'll handle it. He'll disappear him. Jason will get it. I liked that Jocelyn was finally acting like she knows what's up whenever they were going to walk out. And Jason was like, you guys are leaving, right? And she was like, oh, that's real subtle. Well, thank you, Joss, for finally right. admitting you <laughs> exactly. know something. Right. Because there's so many times they're having conversations and she's right there. And you're like, hello, why don't you get this? Right. So I did think it was funny that Sunny gave her money and then they got to Kelly's and all they ate was cupcakes. Like, you know, he gave her like a hundred dollar bill or something. And we just had cupcakes. Trina even went home to eat. Yeah. I feel like that should have been a conversation beforehand. Kids. We didn't ask for an itemized receipt. And no, change. No. So they're just like, hey, we're going to go shopping, and then we're going to go get cupcakes. But I'm <laughs> late to meet you at a restaurant because right. I went home to eat first. That's true. A little odd. Well, maybe because she thought that she was going to have to pay. And so she was like, okay, I'm going to save some bucks. Eat at home. That's very financially and, responsible of her. And I think Trina would do that. Yes. Except for if it makes you late for where you're supposed to be. True. Sunny and Avery were so darn cute. I know. Uh, that was sweet. That was super sweet. I had never read that story before. I was looking at it to see if it was one that I knew, and I did not. I was not familiar with it either. Although he said to Carly, I read her a bedtime story. 
so if you want to read to her before you put her to bed. And I was like, what? Okay, thank you. Okay. Because I was confused by it also because Ava was coming to pick her up. For a sleepover. For a sleepover. Right. So Carly would not be putting her to bed. No. So, okay, thank you. Yeah. I was equally confused. Okay, good. Yeah, that sentence just didn't make sense. The book I read to her is there if Ava wants to take it to read it tomorrow night because it's her favorite book or something. Right. Okay. Right. But it's not, a bedtime story is before you go to bed, not hours before you transition to the other parent. I could see, though, if they had the tradition where he always read to her every night that they would read before she goes. Right. But then Carly wouldn't read to her again still. No. So. Even if he had just said, if you want to read her another book before she goes. Right. But he, he said before you put her to bed. Right. How many times is this girl going to bed? (laughs) Exactly. In one night. Yes. I don't know. I don't either. But it was so nice to see a little kid back on the show. It was. She looks so Well, old. we know that the boys are coming back. Yes. So excited. Because it was all over their Instagram. Yep. They're so cute. Oh, my. They're talking in full sentences. So What's when Michael cute. and Willow were talking about the fact that he wants to be an astronaut when he grows up? Yes. I'm like, no, Wiley is not talking. But then, I mean, but we know yes. that they are. Because <laughs> they're big kids now. They got COVID tested. Oh. They have to, to get back on set. I know, but I didn't want to think about that. But thanks for making me sad. They're it was really cute, boys. though. I didn't follow it. Go him. on their Instagram. It's Teo and Eric Olson. I follow them. I just don't check in as often as you check all of your stuff. You're so cute. Their mom's like, so what were we doing? They're like, COVID. Aw. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Testing or something like that. that. That's going to be, like, part of these kids' life story forever. Remember whenever we were two or three and had to get COVID tested to go back to work? Yeah. So weird. Hold on. Where's the... Oh, I think it was in the story. Darn it. I don't think it's on there now. I was going to play it. No. But if it was in the stories and she didn't save it... Darn it. Okay. Well, you missed it. (laughs) But it was cute. They were in the back seat talking about the fact that they got tested. Aww. Because they want to, they, oh, what were they saying? They don't want to stay here. But by meaning, like, they want to go to General Hospital. Yeah. So it was, it was cute. Super cute. I hope they're not waiting to come back for whenever the playroom's going to be done getting painted, though, because it didn't look like Willow was making much progress. I do have a, okay. It was very against character for her to be wearing what she was. Yes. Yes. At all. Right. And if you wanted to paint in just a bra because you didn't want to get sports a shirt bra. done, sports bra, and it's just the bra then. You wouldn't have another shirt over top of it like right. that because the whole point would be you're saving right. your shirts. So once you put the shirt on, yeah, it needs to be buttoned up appropriately. That was very weird. You love the word appropriately. Appropriately. Yeah. I do. I don't know why. I'm sorry. But exactly. Like, that was just very against right. type and he didn't notice it at all whenever he first walked in it was just a general conversation about right oh hey what are you, you doing you're not bra. noticing my bright orange <laughs> bra it was pink was it yes i thought it was like a coral so i okay. guess that's in between okay we can both be right for once there we go i love that her solution was to hand paint and his was just to hire somebody though of course i feel like that's a men versus women thing not i feel like that's a money, money versus not money thing no, I still think it's more men versus women than money. Because I think moms like to be more hands-on if they have that talent. Crafty. I personally would be, heck yeah, let's hire that out because it would not look like stars on my kids. It would just be yellow balls. I'd <laughs> be like, why? Why is my room polka dot? Oh, and Chase's kiss of death with the, what? what's another minute going to take? Yeah. Well, I guess that means Michael's a minute man. <laughs> it was like... The second time there was a card. No, the whole reason I said it is because for whatever reason, and this is before I had even done anything. Uh huh. But when I went to college, we got like this big welcome bucket, and I mean, you know, like those double bubble buckets. Yeah. Okay. It was like that size, uh-huh. and it had like all this stuff in it, and for some reason, like there were cards in there, like greeting cards for like you to send to other people, whatever. And one of them had a like a revolutionary war soldier on the front and it said back in the 1700s a minute man was a good thing 
<laughs> That's why I said it. And I said it to my ex. <laughs> but it was before we had even done anything. And I was just like, hey. <laughs> wow. What kind of college did you get to, Shannon? It was hmm. a good school. Somebody should have. I don't know. Like, I don't know if they pre-bought these. But then those right. buckets were the best thing to eat Chinese food out of because, like, you just dumped a whole bunch of stuff in it. Oh, my God. It was great. You're such a dork. I am. I love you, but you're I such a dork. I loved it. It was nice of them to give you a welcome back. <laughs> I know. All I can really comment but here. Like, why that appropriately. card? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a girl. Right. You know? Right. I mean, why should I be sending that card? Right. Who would you send that to ever? Right. I, okay. I don't know. Huh. Well. It was funny, though. And now, this many years later, it's funny. No, because that was their second rendezvous, and you don't know exactly how long they were downstairs. So. That was the first. They only did it once. Oh, no, they did do it twice. Yeah. They were going for a third when Chase walked in. Right. So I don't think you can to comment be in my 20s on again. his performance level like i said willow was a very happy girl mm -hmm. i don't know what chase was gonna say anyway though if michael was there is he really gonna tell them both together i don't know i mean i know he wasn't expecting michael to be there because they just right. said willow's in the playroom they didn't say right. Willow and michael but he gave himself that little pep talk he yeah. was ready he was i seriously do think it's gonna wind up being brooklyn telling michael yeah i do i'm not saying it should not come out i just don't want I don't to think change chase is, things now. i don't think chase is going to tell them well, I yeah, now that you saw them together, he's not going to ruin it again. No, but she Brooklyn made her choice. Will. Yeah, because Brooklyn's that kind of girl. I like her, though. I like her, but some things you need to mind your own business, even if you have good intentions. They're all grown ups. It happened a while ago. Things have moved on now. I loved how Chase and Monica were referees. Yes. And how Monica would be like, no, seriously? Right. Like, don't start. What was he going to say? I never. And she was like, no. <laughs> I'm glad that they're they working things out. They did a good job, out. though, yeah. They did, because they started to rehash it, and she even said, I don't want to go through another fight. We mm -hmm. just need to start over from here. So, very mature Brooklyn. But Lois made it to Bensonhurst and couldn't get to Port Thank Charles? Thank you! I totally thought that. She's back home. She said I can move back in, blah, blah, blah. But she never came to check on you? Right. What the heck? Mm-mm. Ridiculous. Not and Lois wouldn't be like that. Not our Lois. No. She would never be like that. I know she had plenty of people to take care of her, but Lois would never not physically check up on right. her daughter. Like, why do they keep doing this to us? They keep mentioning these people over mm -hmm. and over and over again, and then they don't show up. Yeah. What's up? I don't know. They're very good at teasing. Mm-hmm. I was also confused by why Nina's nurse just randomly showed up and said, oh yeah, I've been holding on to this information forever. I was so glad whenever Curtis found me. Really? You didn't think to come back and find Nina before this? Right. I understand if you didn't tell her when she was still in her... Right. What, I don't can't remember what mental... Coming out of her coma and readapting to society phase? Sure. Okay. I don't know what the medical term for that is, but yeah. When she was still... It would have been an overload well, of information. From my perspective, Nina is kind of a public figure. Right. So she would have known... That she was okay there's a, and There's a better. chance that she could have known, hey, this woman's alive. Right. Blah, 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 You've blah, blah. You've never heard of this magazine that she's been running for how many years now? Right, right. And you didn't come and find her? It's not like it was that difficult. Yeah. And I don't understand how they're going to make this be Nell as the kid. Because they said the parents showed up in a black town car like they had money nell's family didn't right. have money right so she was adopted by one family and then just handed over to somebody else if you really wanted a baby and went through all that trouble they said the adopted parents were excited and happy mm -hmm. why would you turn around and just hand them off to somebody that doesn't care maybe they were go-betweens and then they were selling the baby for more to a more desperate family. I still don't know how we're going to make that happen that Carly's family had her, though, because Carly's family had no money and didn't really right. take that great a care of the kids that they did have, so they weren't desperate for another baby. It's not like Nell said she grew up in a life of 
running drugs or prostitution or something like right. that, that a kid would have been making money for them. Right. So why would they have been desperate for another mouth to feed? Like, right. First of all, I'm like, right. let's <laughs> no. just be thankful that Mel exactly. was not human trafficked. Like, not the storyline that I wanted them to go with. But I mean, that would have made sense. If she said, I was a drug runner for a million years, okay, right. you needed a kid to do that. But that wasn't her life. It was just that she was poor. Right. I don't know. Okay. I wanted you to solve all that for me. I have all those sometimes answers. Sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. What can I say? I don't think it's going to be no. I think that's still too easy. But then how did she get the necklace? Mm. Not all adoptive parents want their children to know about their biological family. So if I was that parent, I mm. threw that necklace away. And Nell was poor and saw something shiny and pretty, so she picked it up. Mm. The same way Avery did. Mm. I was going to say, and in Annie, you know, they matched the locket and it was not them. Right. Best movie ever, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to have to watch it. <laughs> Madeline can sing it for you if you'd like. Okay. She's very interactive with it. The one thing that I nerded out on. Oh, no. I think it was the only thing I nerded out on. Okay. They said about the Hanover policeman. The Hano- the detective from Hanover, Pennsylvania. Okay. Hanover is three hours away from New York. Uh-huh. So, therefore, why is the Hanover detective the one handling when Nell's body was found right over on the Pennsylvania side. Where did you ever get that it was right over? Because they kept saying, like, she was <laughs> I know, right out. I'm, you. <laughs> I'm like, that's they kept saying. They only said it about 400,000 times. Yes. Right. But it's really close to Maryland. So unless, but that cabin that they were at, right, Yeah, is in New York. Yep. Okay. So they kind of messed up their geography right. on that one. And that wouldn't have been a hard thing to fact check. Just look at the no, map and I whoop, literally go. Googled it. Yeah. And I said, how far away is Hanover, Pennsylvania from the New York line? Right. Three hours. It was like three and a half, but. Right. You know, the body travels. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. There's water involved. I'm sorry they disappointed you. With that. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All I can tell you. I don't know. Them and their fact checking. So I was glad that Carly finally saw the necklace because how long has Avery been wearing that and she's never noticed but, it. But did you notice she's always had it tucked in her shirt and then she pulls it out. She still has a chain. If Madeline suddenly had a chain. Yeah. I would notice that. Yeah. True. And I would be like, hey, did you find that in the woods that some dead girl dropped? <laughs> Is that where that came from? Yes, mommy. <laughs> or Carly. So, yeah, I'm excited for next week to see how all of this goes together. I, I just don't, I don't want them to kill Sasha. They're not going to kill her yet. I hope not. They're not. Brando is right there. He's not going to let that yeah. happen. I will almost think that his you. cover's going to be blown though because of it. I don't think so. I think he's been pretty chill. But he didn't with follow Brando. Cyrus's orders. But Cyrus even said, "I can have Brando take you home." So he had to have known, yeah, that he was still in somewhat close proximity. I don't know. Did he put him up in an apartment right next to his or mm. something like that? I don't. I don't know where he was supposed to go, but whenever he said and go home. And he can just say, I was, I was concerned. Right. So I wanted to be close because, like I told you, she's trouble. Yeah. Exactly. Case in point. Yep. I think we're good. But now she knows a lot about drugs. Because she's like, is that new? Like, she's really gotten very experienced. I maybe don't know how that meant, works. I'm like, I really don't know how that maybe works. Maybe she though, meant so. new as in something different than what I've had before. Not new as in, like, I've new tried. to me. Okay. Not new because if you gave me one drug for three weeks and then turn around and handed me something else, I would be like, oh, is that new? Not necessarily like a new a drug. Fun. Right. Yeah. Just that's something I haven't tried before. Okay. I don't know. Because I don't even know any new. Uh, that's how ignorant to drugs I am. I don't know any new ones that have come out in the last year or so that they would be throwing into the It has something to do with line. like they mix them or something right. like that. Because like, they mix them with other things. Yes. We sound like such idiots right now. I know. Now. Sorry. We need to do better research. No. I'm good with not doing research about <laughs> no, the different types of drugs. Uh, now I want to know. Oh, and I asked my son if he, what he knows about, like, HIV and everything. And, like, they talk about it, but just definitely not as much as we did. But it was still new to us, so, oh. when we were growing up. Okay. So. I didn't ask my kid. I didn't even think of that. Good job. Well, I was just, I was like, hey, by the way. Good parenting and good research. I like how that went together. 
Gold star for oh. Shannon. Thank you. <laughs> I got a gold star. So, all right, what's your reality? Do, do, do. Reality check. Um, no, we need to stop umming. There should be something so exciting we can't wait to tell everybody. I had a Friendsgiving last night with two couple friends of ours. So friends of ours live like right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And then one of the girls just started dating a guy. And so like it was our first night all getting to know it. And he fits right in. Perfect. So I like him. And my son got accepted to another. So jealous. School. Well, she has to apply to get accepted, Amanda. (laughs) That's not where she wants to go. And I don't want to push her to do something. And that's fine then. She doesn't want to do, but I still want those acceptance letters. I'll write her an acceptance letter. Okay, thanks. You've been accepted okay. in life. Yeah. I don't know that I want that acceptance letter for myself. And then I think, the, oh, so we're doing, we decided to tear up the carpet in our living room a couple weeks ago. And we did it in our daughter's room a couple years ago. And her floor was beautiful. All you had to do was a little Murphy oil soap to clean it up. And then it was beautiful hardwood floor. So we were hoping the same thing was going to be in the living room. And unfortunately, the padding, because of how much it was walked on Mm. for however long, got, like, really, really black streaks in it. And, like, we got mineral spirits. We did everything that we could find to clean it up, sanded the heck out of it, and did one coat of the stain and the way that it was, it was not absorbing in some areas, even though it was sanded down and everything. And there's a chance that because the padding, like, even though we couldn't see it, oh, okay, like, it could still be having a negative effect on, I don't know. So if you know how to finish hardwood floors, I mean, we have, we've researched, like, everything on how to fix this. And it's a common, yeah. if that's a highly trafficked area and the padding's really been down there, even though you might not be able to see the stuff anymore once you uh-huh. dig up all the gunk, whatever. So um, we went and picked up Luxury vinyl clink. And there my husband's go. doing that today. So I might try to do it too, though, because I like hammering things. Right. So. That's a good get your mm-hmm. aggravation out. Heck yeah. I hand sand it. That's how much we really tried. So we rented like one of the big sanders and then hand sanded a lot of stuff too. And so that was kind of my therapy this week was hand sanding away <laughs> at the floor. Nice. Because everything then comes nice and clean. There you go. Yeah, you want to come to my house next? I still got a lot to do here, but what about you? It was homecoming. That's, you know how kids, they get something in their head and that's all you can talk about all week long. So that's all this week was, was homecoming, homecoming, homecoming. It was last night. We made it to the dance successfully, stayed at the dance, had a good time. Only a small amount of tears shed because if you have a daughter, I assume it's normal because I used to do it. You have to cry at some point in time getting ready for big events. So we had that happen, but she was pretty, she had fun, senior year. Yay! Yay. So, I don't know, that's really it. Oh, Thanksgiving, I tried my first Gobble Rita from Mad Max <gasps> yesterday. Oh, aren't they good? They were super good, but I had never had one, and everyone keeps talking about how they're so amazing. Okay, so you have to share exactly what this is. So it's from Mad, Mad Max. is a local, it's not a... Really? Uh-huh. Oh, I thought they were everywhere. Nope. Oh. Nope. All right. Mad Max restaurant... Local, but I did not know it was local. Mm-hmm. So it's a burrito that's just filled with all of the Thanksgiving trimmings. Turkey and stuffing and corn and what else? Cranberry sauce on the side. Mm-hmm. Gravy to pour over top. Is there something else on the inside? I'm missing. What did you say? Turkey, stuffing, corn. Oh, put mashed potatoes. I think that's it. So, anyway, my family has been raving about it for years. My niece used to go with her dad when she was little and mm-hmm. get them. And with all the quarantine stuff and stuff being shut down, I know they brought them back a couple months ago. It's yeah. A, Let's just get you through 2020. And I still hadn't tried it. So, last night, the other kids were with their dads, and Em was at the dance. So, I went and got one, and it was super yummy. And they also make apple cider margaritas around this time of year, oh, too. Oh, I didn't know that. I would have tried one of those. I just got mm-hmm. a regular strawberry one. Yeah. Huh. Yep. All right, well, now I have to go back for another one. Thanks. See, I'm excited for Thanksgiving because I always make the sandwich that Ross has on Friends. <laughs> such and a dork. So and you talk good. about this like the whole world knows. Not everyone watched Friends. So you've already explained it to me, so I know it. Yes. But anyone else out there, don't feel bad that you're not a big geek like Shannon. 
and so many other people in the world. But sure. it's okay. I'm not saying that Friends wasn't a cute show. I'm saying I don't know that the whole world committed the sandwich to memory the way that you did. It's basically the same exact thing, though. But the big thing is the moist maker. Right. Which is so weird. It's the third slice of bread soaked in gravy, and it's in the middle of the sandwich. It's genius, and I'm happy that they do that, because that's the reason I don't like turkey sandwiches. It's too dry. Yep. I'm just not a big turkey person to begin with, but I'll be making the turkey again this year. We'll have a smaller Thanksgiving, because my sister does not want to be involved in it. So. Yeah. Well, we might all be in that boat, too, so. Oh, if I don't have to go somewhere with the turkey, I'm not making a turkey. The kids can go to their dad's early, and I'll sit at home and have Chinese food, McDonald's, something. I don't care. I'm not making a turkey. Okay. Way too much work. I love it. And I missed doing it last year, so. Okay. Once again, Shannon's crazy. <clears throat> it's a lot of work. It's like babysitting a turkey all day long. It's actually not a lot of work because it's not hard. I was going to say, I'm like. But it's so time consuming and the stress of you have to feed this thing to all these other people and if you mess it up, what are you going to do? I've never messed up a turkey. I've never messed it up either, but I told you the first year that I made it was a couple years ago. I am not a cooking type of person. I can cook. No one in my house appreciates it, so I just don't. And my mom had just been in a car accident, and so I was delegated to make it. And actually, everyone said it was the best turkey ever, because I kept injecting it with broth to make sure that it wasn't dry, because again, turkey is dry, in my Mm -hmm. opinion. And everyone said it was wonderful. But I was terrified... Like that Christmas movie where they cut into it and the whole thing deflates? Mm-hmm. That was, that's what's in my mind that I'm going to do one year. Yeah. So no, I don't want to do it. I saved my husband last year because he made it. And when I walked up, he was just about to put, I think he was using rosemary. And he didn't know that there's a conversion between dried and fresh. Oh, I would not have known that either. And Oh. So if it says a cup of fresh rosemary or thyme or anything okay it is not a cup of dried oh dried is much more potent oh yeah no idea so yeah check your conversions that's my tip for that's my thanksgiving tip there you go check your conversions okay all right so join us on (laughs) thursday for some more thanksgiving tips (laughs) no (laughs) so thursday we're going to talk about karen wexler and sunny's yay it's gonna be karen and sunny really because it's right and that whole her pill addiction and Sonny's time essentially pushing drugs. Yeah. He wasn't a drug pusher, though. We will talk about this on Thursday. He did it with good intentions. It wasn't the same. Like, Renault was trying to get Sasha hooked. Right. So that either something bad happens or so that she continues spending money and being under his control right. and whatever. Sunny did it the same way I would offer you Tylenol. Or you right. hear about other moms saying, oh, I'm so anxious, and somebody saying, oh, I have a Xanax. You should not do that. You should not give someone else your medication. should not do that. But people do it and don't make it seem like it's that big of a deal. Right. And so in Sunny's case, it was just take these and then you'll relax and right. be able We'll talk about it Thursday. Oh, my God, but I can talk about it all right I now because I'm so excited. I know, but we're not going to. Okay, okay. So join us on Thursday as you listen to what I just cut off, Amanda. <laughs> and have a good week. And we'll meet. <laughs> nope. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to go to pier54podcast.com to subscribe on your favorite platform. Don't forget to leave us a review. And you can also follow us on many social media channels. Just search for Pier 54 Podcast. Also, we are not perfect, so if there is something that we missed or messed up, just let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com. 